Tears filled the face of Christopher Cornell's father in court today. He says his son is an intelligent young man who wanted to become a nurse. That is not what the government is saying about the Green Township 20-year-old who was accused of plotting to attack the nation's capital. If you're just joining us, here's where we stand. Cornell arrived at the Butler County Jail this afternoon. He is being held there without bond. He's also on suicide watch. He said nothing in court except to confer with his attorney. His parents did speak with us today. We have team coverage tonight on these latest developments. We begin with Tom McKee, live where this all came out at Cincinnati's federal courthouse. Tom? Well, if you believe Christopher Cornell's parents, he's a nice young man. He's not mean-spirited, and he wouldn't harm anyone at all. If you believe the government, he's a terrorist who had the plan, the means, and the opportunity to carry that plan out. Tonight, for now at least, the government, the court rather, is siding with the government and basically, it's going to be months before we know the final outcome in this case. Christopher Cornell's parents had nothing to say as they walked into the federal courthouse Friday with son John and Chris's cousin Penny. It was the first time they'd see him since his arrest on Wednesday, accused of being a terrorist. Before court began, John Cornell did a rambling, tear-filled interview with reporters in the hallway. He called Chris a highly intelligent young man and that there is not an evil bone in his body. Describing the recent conversion to Islam, Cornell said his son was self-taught to read, write, and speak Arabic. Cornell added his son wasn't a terrorist, but a young man who wanted to go back to school to become a nurse. As Christopher Cornell came into the courtroom, his father called out his name. His mother said she loved him, and the father added, don't trust anyone. The government painted Cornell as a man who conceived a plan to attack the U.S. Capitol and was ready to carry it out. The defense countered that he's a 20-year-old, barely an adult, who should be at home on electronic monitoring. Magistrate Judge Stephanie Bowman disagreed and ordered Cornell return to the Butler County Jail while awaiting trial. Once the nine-minute hearing concluded, Cornell's parents left with his attorney, Karen Savar, and said nothing to waiting reporters despite being peppered with questions seeking comment. Now, there were many other things that John Cornell told me this afternoon I want to repeat here. They're very interesting. Christopher never shot a gun. He distanced himself from high school friends because of drinking and smoking. He was tricked into all this. I've got his back. And finally, the most interesting, I would die for my son. His attorney is asking that from now on, Christopher be called by his Muslim name in all court proceedings. Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown.